Recently, I've been pretty sick of Apex stagnant boring modes and while a gun run was fun while it lasted, I hate that respawn just won't give us what we want, Apex TDM. Sometimes I just want to vibe, experiment, and shoot things instead of sweat my balls off. But since respawn refuses to let me do so, for some reason I decided to take matters into my own hands. The only problem is, I have no idea how to code and basically have zero experience in game development. However, I have messed around with RPG Maker 2000 about uh, 25 years ago or so, so I thought I'd catch on easy. And Yes, I am a boomer. Boy, I was wrong. And this shit is complicated, man. I spent hours trying to figure out the interface of Unreal Engine alone. And this made me decide to just hire someone on Fiverr to copy Apex's movement system for me, since I'm apparently too dumb to figure out Unreal Engine's interface. But it turns out that is extremely expensive and it is very difficult to communicate what you're trying to accomplish to the Fiverr person when it comes to something as complex like Apex's movement. They won't be able to do it unless they know how how to actually perform it in game and as far as I can tell not many game developers know how to do a raw strafe at least if you ask me so $150 down the drain with results that were to say well not what I was hoping for which nothing against the developer by the way they were super nice I'm just too dumb to explain anything right and at this point though I decided the only way to do this is if I figure it out myself luckily once I sat down through this literal five hour long tutorial from Unreal Sensei and I highly recommend it if you were trying to get into Unreal real, but just be prepared for to sit for a long time, things started to click. And after a few more tutorials, I realized I didn't even need to learn how to code. You can legitimately make a full game with Unreal's blueprint system alone. So now that I was feeling frisky and a bit more confident since I could now successfully click and move things without losing my mind, I decided it was time to tackle the most important task of all, emulating Apex's movement. You know, things like tap strafes and wall bounces. I found another set of tutorials giving me a full break on how to create Titanfall's movement, and after a few days of re-watching the videos following it step by step, most of it wasn't working. Yeah, it turns out if you miss even the smallest check mark or misspell something, everything can basically fall apart. And at this point, I started to realize why games are always so buggy. Though to be fair, I basically understood absolutely nothing of what he was saying or doing in the tutorials and was just kind of doing the old monkey see, monkey do trick, which is kind of sad that I even failed at that, but hey, my brain only has so many cells to spare, okay? Anyway, now I realized I need to try getting a better understanding of how the blueprints themselves work. So I decided to start completely from scratch using only tutorials that explain how each node works and just figuring out the rest by myself. Matthew Wadsteins, Wad, Wadsteins, Wad, Wadsteins, Matthew, well, I don't know how to say his name. His channel came in super handy for this because he basically makes a video for each blueprint code explaining how it works. Thank you, Matthew. Please come back and make more videos so I can feel less dumb. After a few weeks, a lot of studying and coding copious amounts of caffeine, I finally came up with the first part of my own custom movement system, the air strafe system. This essentially emulates lurching in apex and allows you to make very sudden directional shifts in the air by using multiple inputs of a single direction or even just pressing the opposite direction of the direction that you're going in while you're in the air. It's a lot of direction. If you don't know, this is basically how tap strafing works. Your score wheel allows you to implement a ridiculous amount of forward inputs to shift your direction while you're in the air. And the only issue with my system at the moment is that when I I try to use scroll wheel to tap strafe, it basically sends you into hyperdrive. It's still a work in progress, so you know, cut me some slack, but at least the lurching is working now, right? And at this point, I had a pretty good idea on how this works, at least in regards to the movement stuff. So I next got to work on sprinting, sliding, jump slides, and created a system that would basically check which movement was performed last, allowing the player to do other movements based on that information. Everything was going really well, but now I needed to implement wall climbing, mantling, and wall running. I was not particularly looking forward to this part. I wanted to do it, but it sounded difficult. And this is when I learned that math is hard. I had to figure out a way to calculate the vectors and rotations and dot products of points and, and even what that means. And then I had to ask myself why I spent all my time in high school inhaling green things, eating cookies, and sleeping through algebra. <sighs> Those were the good old days, I missed that. But either way, now I needed to learn trigonometry and matrix math, which for a person with ADHD who failed 10th grade like 467 times only to eventually drop out of high school is somewhat of a difficult task. But luckily, YouTube is a thing and I now can understand what the hell a vector is. Yay me! After tons of hours of trying to figure out why I'm so stupid, I finally have a base movement system to work with, complete with the ability to slide, jump, jump slide, lurch, ghetto tap strafe, wall climb, wall jump, 
jump wall run and even chain wall runs. But now I've decided to scrap the whole thing, start from scratch and build a new system that will operate more smoothly and is more efficient within the next uh, 20 years or so. Yeah, game dev is pretty fun. Okay, love you, bye.